Welcome to CIRACDoctors.com. My name is Dr. Samir Puri, and I'd like to welcome you to this video on the new Ivaclar Cement SpeedSem Plus. In today's world, there are many different cement systems to choose from when cementing your CIRAC restorations. The different class of cements all have different characteristics and features, so as a clinician, you have to decide what kind of cement system you want to use for that particular case. We can choose a cement that when accompanied with a bonding agent will give you a very high bond strength. These systems work well in that they provide a very high bond strength between the tooth and the restoration, but they also require more steps to complete and are generally more sensitive to operator technique. Failure to follow proper steps and protocol can result in sensitivity and failure. In addition, certain types of cases do not benefit from a high bond strength cement. Take zirconia, for example. It is a material that is difficult to bond to and requires a retentive preparation. Going through the steps of bonding in a zirconia crown are likely not going to result in any advantages over a cement that is easier to use but may have lower bond strengths. So it makes sense in a situation like this to use a less technique sensitive cement. So on the other end of the spectrum, we can choose a cement that doesn't have a bonding agent, which we, as we mentioned previously, may have a lower bond strength between the restoration and the tooth. But the flip side is that the cement is much easier to use with a much shorter learning curve. The result is an easier workflow, lower sensitivity, and ease of use. Self-etching resin cement, such as Ivaclar SpeedSem Plus, provide the advantage to the clinician that you simply place the cement in the restoration and seat the restoration, similar to gold and PFM restorations cemented in the past with zinc phosphate. There's no bond strength with zinc phosphate, yet the cement has been successfully used for years in appropriate situations. Take a look at the case presented. You have a crown prep on the first molar and a crown prep on the second molar. Both restorations with the CIRAC as classified as crown preps. However, the preparations are completely different. The second molar crown prep is non-retentive in the traditional sense, yet it has a lot of enamel to bond to. This is not a clinical situation where we would want to use a self-etching resin cement. The restoration will be held to the tooth majority by the chemical retention, so a high bond strength cement system such as Multilink or Variolink Aesthetic would be ideal here. Compare that to the first molar preparation a traditionally prepared tooth with traditional retention and resistance form. The retentive preparation in this particular case allows a self-etching resin cement such as Ivaclar SpeedSem Plus to work ideally. The preparation design will help to retain the crown on the tooth and the ease of use of using the cement will make the procedure more predictable and less stressful for the clinician to accomplish. We now know the disadvantages of a self-etching cement which is lower bond strengths but we also know the advantages of SpeedSem Plus. You have to use it in the right situation where you have a retentive preparation and bond strength is not as critical of a factor. Retentive preparations such as those for zirconia, bridges, implant restorations on abutments can all benefit from using a self-etching resin cement such as SpeedSem Plus. There are several characteristics that we want in these types of cements when we use them in their intended situations. The first is that if you're using SpeedSem Plus or a similar self-etching resin cement, you should want to use one that has as high of a bond strength as possible when the cement is used in the self-cure mode. Likely these cements will be used under more opaque materials such as a Zirconia Crown or Emax LT. If you look at the graph provided by Ivaclar, you can see that SpeedSem Plus, according to Ivaclar's data, has a very high bond strength in the self-cure mode in this study. While the cement can be light cured, it is likely that very little light will actually reach the cement during its set time in certain clinical situations. The next desired characteristic of a self-etching resin cement, really any resin cement, is high radiopacity. Another x-ray by Ivoclar shows that the SpeedSem Plus has high radiopacity. This becomes important when trying to verify if the cement was left behind after final cleanup. Let's review a quick clinical case where SpeedSem Plus was utilized. A patient presented to our clinic in Scottsdale with a chief complaint of a broken tooth. The patient had an existing crown on the first molar. 
The patient did not recall when the crown was placed, but was recently eating popcorn, which caused the restoration to break in half. The patient was anesthetized and the existing restoration was removed. The margins were refined and the decision was made to restore the tooth with an Emax MT. Certainly zirconia could have been used here and the process would have been exactly the same. Once the preparation was scanned with CEREC, the CEREC software was used to create the proposal. The contacts and occlusion were checked and the restoration was sent to the milling unit. After milling, the determination was made to use a self-etching resin cement to seat the case, SpeedSem Plus. The reason we felt comfortable with SpeedSem Plus was that there was adequate traditional retention and resistance form on the preparation that high bond strengths were not the primary concern when cementing. The axial wall length of the case was more than 5 millimeters in length, which is adequate to allow us to take advantage of the ease of use of the SpeedSem Plus cement. The restoration was milled, crystallized, and the surface was prepared for bonding. The same surface preparation that is normally done on Emacs was completed on the Emacs MT restoration. The internal surface of the restoration is etched with hydrofluoric acid for 20 seconds, followed by an application of Monobond Plus. An alternative would be to use Monobond etch and prime which does both etching and priming in a single step. The tooth was isolated to retract the tongue and cheeks. The patient had a severe gag reflex, so while a rubber dam or ice slide is preferred, due to how easy it is to use SpeedSem Plus, the decision was made to only use cotton roll isolation. The cement was placed in the restoration and the restoration seated. The end result is a harmonious restoration that blends in easily with the surrounding dentition. The process to cement a zirconia crown is similar. The zirconia restoration is milled and sintered. The restoration is polished and tried in for fit. The SpeedSem Plus cement is placed inside of the restoration and the restoration seated on the tooth. After the initial gel phase, the cement is easily cleaned with an explorer. The ease of cleanup with SpeedSem makes it an ideal cement in the appropriate clinical situations. Even though we're viewing this on a Typodont, this allows us to see how easy the cement is cleaned up. Simply take your explorer, remove the excess, and floss the inner proximal contacts. Because of the high bond strengths, as we discussed earlier, in the self-cure mode, you can be assured that even though we're cementing a zirconia crown here, which is extremely opaque, you will still get conversion of the resin cement into its final cured state. The gel state makes it even easier to, for the cement to clean up. With self-etching resin cements, it's important that you allow the cement to self-cure first prior to hitting it with the light. Not only will it make cleanup easier, but it will also allow the cement to reach its final cured state. Ivoclar SpeedSem Plus is a good cement to add to the user's arsenal. With relatively high reported self-cure bond strengths and radiopacity, the ease of use of this cement makes it a welcome addition to the CIREC clinician's armamentarium. For additional questions, please do not hesitate to post on CIREC message boards. Thank you.